a close call at Connecticut Point in Warwick tonight. First responders rushed to the popular spot here around 8 o'clock for reports of people in distress in the water. When rescue crews got there, they safely found those people whom police say were never actually in danger. But this all comes after a recent drowning at this exact spot. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish spoke to witnesses who were fearing the worst. Everyone involved in this incident is OK, but the people I spoke with here who witnessed it all unfold say it left them shaken up. You know, my heart, I was jittery. <laughs> my heart was racing for them. Bystanders on high alert Thursday night after losing sight of people walking on the sandbar at Connecticut Point. And they just kept walking out and out farther and farther. I noticed a couple of younger people watching them as well. So I said, we can't see them anymore. Can you guys still see them? And they could, um, but they were way out there, almost to the lighthouse. Fearing for their safety, the people on shore called 911. Police tell us the group of juveniles were brought back to shore by a boat passing by. When authorities arrived, they were safely on land. But for people like Valerie Spellman, emotions were high. Exactly one week ago, an East Greenwich woman drowned at Connecticut Point while going for a night swim. They understood that somebody had recently died here and and that they um, that they felt like they were strong swimmers. They understood the danger after they saw everybody standing up here. Just a few days ago, a Cranston man drowned at Scarborough State Beach in Narragansett trying to rescue two people in distress. That incident also fresh in the Spellman's minds. Oh, I was very scared for, for them. And when I when we couldn't see them anymore, you know, I thought even if one just goes under, that they're going to try to save that person. And authorities say if you see someone in the water in distress, the best thing you can do is is alert authorities and continue to remain on land as a witness to help authorities in their search. In Warwick, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.